Hey y'all, we're back for another episode of Rivals Waterdeep, episode 7 of season 14. Uh, before we get started though, I want to thank everyone for all of your support. We ended our GoFund, yes, our Indiegogo last night, and we ended a little over $23,000, so thanks a lot y'all. Uh, you've ensured at least one more season is going to happen, and as we figure out next steps, we'll let you all know, anyone who's owed Goods, art, etc. will follow up with you after Pax Unplugged. So uh, we also got a couple people out. So we're going to start to, I think, my left with Latia. Yay, it's me. Hi, everybody. I'm Latia. Uh, I play Tahani, everyone's favorite Eric Coker monk. And if she's not your favorite, don't tell me because I'll cry. Um, her pronouns and mine are she, her. Uh, who wants to talk for Gosar? Uh... Hey everybody, I'm Sue Hawk. My uh, I play everybody's favorite uh, businessman, socialist, druid, construct, gods of gnome red. <laughs> my pronouns are right, my pronouns are he, him, and so are Gazrix. This is yeah, this is a very interesting row to be on today. I'm just surrounded by headshots, and it's lovely. Hi, uh, I'm Brian. Uh, I play <clears throat> sorry uh, Virgil. Uh, hopefully your favorite Asimar Storm Sorcerer. Uh, Virgil's pronouns are he, him, and mine are he, they. Uh, do you want to be Kent as well? Um, and uh, to to that side of me, because I don't know directions at all, is uh, Eugenio Vargas, who normally uh, would be here playing Kent, your phantom, t your tiefling phantom rogue. Uh, both of their pronouns are he, him, and uh, Masood and Eugenio, we miss y'all. Uh, we miss y'all. Uh, and I'm sure if, uh, I'll be playing Shaka, Tiefling, Celestial Warlock. Both of our pronouns are he, him. Uh, and I'm your DM, Cypher Tear. I play as Lisa Sario and her girlfriend, Faye. I'm not even going to pretend that they're anyone's favorite. My pronouns for them are she, her, and your NPCs are depending on who I'm who I'm playing as. Um, who my favorite. Hmm. Um, ad read. I lost my train of thought. Sorry, who's doing the ad read this week since... Masuda's I am. not here. And, and the ad read is my favorite. You know, it's, it's, it's my favorite doing a master transitions. Uh, so let's start with D&D Beyond, also our favorite. Um, so D&D Beyond is where we keep our character sheets all digital uh, so we can access all our roles, our, our abilities, skills, spells, inventories. Uh, we can manage our dice rolls. You, you, you can see everybody's role in the campaign, which is great. There's an encounter manager that works pretty well. Um, so you can really just like run your games, you know, uh, completely digitally or a mix of like uh, real dice and a, and a paper and D&D &D Beyond, um, however you want to do it. So make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com. And if you're listening live to our Twitch stream uh, Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, we have a raffle uh, where we are once again giving away a bundle from from D&D &D Beyond. So make sure if you're in the Twitch chat. Look out for the code word that they will uh, that that a mod will share out, um, and all you have to do is uh, type in that uh, word, and you'll be entered in the raffle. Um, you must be present to win, so please make sure to stick around and and enjoy our show and find out if you won a, a fantastic prize from D and D Beyond. So make sure to check check them out. They've been supporters since day one. Um, our dice trays and vaults are provided by Warmwood W Y R M Wood. Um, and you can check them out at warmwoodgaming.com. And if you use the code RIVALS, you can get free domestic shipping on your order there. Um, we're sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Check them out at dieharddice.com. And again, if you use the code RIVALS, you get 10% off. And look at Brian. Look at the look at the reveal. Those beauties. Those beautiful dice there. Um, and if you want some geeky gear around your place, check out Stormcrow. They have a assortment of a really dope posters and mugs and hats and masks and all kind of great stuff there at stormcrow check them out at shop.stormcrow.com and use the code rivals for 15 percent off of your order um, at stormcrow and if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the rivals crew check out blue microphones crew.bluemic.com slash rivals any purchase or any purchases you make we will get credited for and you'll uh, be able to sound great and uh, look great like us because they sell all kind of hardware there so make sure to uh, check that out too um, and uh, we're also partnering with Idol Champions where our whole squad everybody you see here including the headshots we're all in the game so make sure to load <laughs> up 
your party with rivals. Um, and 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 there are just headshots of Mr. Steed and, and Eugenio in there instead of Kim that's it. Yep. That's just, just that's headshots. all that's all it's in the bar. That's it. <laughs> just just their headshots in there. So um yeah, yeah. All yeah, there's some great stackable bonuses if you include multiple rivals in your in your uh party. And uh, you know, the the recent recent recently released Virgil is getting a lot of love for uh speeding up folks. Mm-hmm. And, and the, uh, when when he's near your uh squad member. So yeah. Um every, every everybody has like unique abilities and they're all great. Um and it's just a fun game to just have on in the background while you're doing other stuff. Um so rocks. So make sure to check out Idol Champions on basically anything. It's on every console, <laughs> PC, phone, uh, all that kind of stuff. So um check them out. Well it's 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 on modern phones. I don't think you can run it on a Nokia with this with the snaky. <laughs> Uh, and, <laughs> I just wanted on my sidekick now, you know. Right, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> sidekick version coming soon. Uh, yeah. Um, also yeah, coming. Uh, also coming to Excel spreadsheet. If you're Kelly Williams, look, I'm still trying that text is not going through at all. Okay. <laughs> that yeah yeah we we can get an ASCII art ASCII art version uh, coming through. And if if you type exclamation point code in the Twitch chat. You'll get this week's free Electrum chest to give you some gear to help. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, I was afraid it was me. Oh. Battle out for Idol Champion. So make sure to check that out. Oh, did, did I go out? You're back. Go? You're back. Okay. Keep talking. Oh, Don't sorry. stop doing things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I might have had like a little, a little, a little hiccup. Um, yeah. Oh, there it goes again. So now, uh, we're also recently partnered with Voice Mod as well. Yes, we are. Uh, normally, Henyo does this, and I have tried to find a voice, um, so I apologize. But if you're on the podcast audio, you will hear it. So here we go. I think that meant back to you. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It was oh. a very interesting voice. It was. It's 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 I, I hear it in my head too, and it's like, oh. Um okay. yes. That's okay. Everything is fine. It's Everything Sunday. is fine. We're gonna, yeah. Oh, God. Um <laughs> But yes, uh, so I think, oh, that probably does it for those. Uh, yeah, and then that passes it back to me because it's time to do the whoosh. All right. Because, yeah, everybody, get ready. The whoosh. All right, everybody. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep, whoosh. Whoosh. So what happened? We landed. We were accosted. We solved that problem. We met Celise and Faye. (laughs) We went, did we go to the Happy Beholder? Did we go there? We ended up, yeah, that was our plan. Um, We ended up after... um, after Celise and Faye were there and, and Celise rightfully said, yeah, we were going to get breakfast together. And then, you know, the rest of us got like space napped. Um, then of the, of the venues, we said, well, the happy beholder seems likely. Um, so we all headed over along with our new friend. Who we named Bernard. 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 We named him Bernard, but his, his actual nickname is Jimmy. We found that out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, um, <clears throat> and uh, we negotiated some rooms at the Happy Beholder, and yeah. we all sort of kind of got, you know, it's the classic, all of us around a table, like, figuring out, like, okay, what's going on? Um, thankfully, after checking our, after checking our various stats as to who can do what, um, 
we essentially were saved by by Faye being able to read the files and interpret what was in them for us. And it was a very it was very detailed, like too too, too strangely detailed. detailed. Not only on us, but then also about it was really like a playbill. Like here are the major players. Here are the major players on Brawl, upper and lower. Um, we got information on the ruler. And yeah, it was just it was just odd to have to to basically have that. And I think also with our continued reading, we kind of realized like this wasn't this was something that you would give to someone to know how to deal with us, but there was still something missing. Like mm -hmm. some kind of information was still missing. Um and then um it was just a lot, it was a lot of um Sorry, I'm doing the whole like in my head, I see the board with the mm -hmm. red thread and like in my head, it's the board, but you can't see that because I'm not doing anything. Um, <clears throat> and we were kind of putting that together. Uh, Dahani and Virgil decided to um, head downstairs to do a little bit of eavesdropping. And in our fancy new digs. Yes, we did have a lovely costume change. Um, if you are if you are a player of Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms, please check out these Spelljammers skins from the cast. And um we also ordered some food went back upstairs we did hear one of the guards basically uh complaining about not being able to nab us but also implying that the orders to nab us came all the way from the top mm -hmm. and we took that information back to the room to combine it into the the omelet or souffle of information that we already had I'm not sure which however you like um kent also managed to pull together um an outfit to to wear and we kind of all realized like we need to not be wearing what they're used to us wearing mm -hmm. to blend in here better so we all kind of uh, we all kind of did the outfit change and honestly reading over everything i feel like we just decided you know what we're gonna we're gonna take this to the top we're, we're, mm -hmm. gonna, we're gonna either walk in sneak in seek an audience with sidle up to however uh prince andrew and prince andrew with a u yes Yes, Andrew. 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 Um, <laughs> it does sound like now, like we're in high school French trying to say Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> and um, and yeah, that's essentially, I, I believe, where we ended it. Like, we were basically like, okay, we, we, we aren't sure. We aren't sure how, but, and also that our primary goal, we did talk about our primary goal, and it was to get home, but it was also that if we don't, figure out what else is going on here it's probably either just going to happen to us again or it's going to bring harm to water deep neither of which things we need so exactly see it through yes i think we decided more on a we're just gonna go and see how far we get and yes. then once they catch us it's like oh all right or if they catch us it's just gonna be like all right you got us fantastic get paid or whatever <laughs> <laughs> that i mean step three is profit so yeah i think that's pretty much it yeah, yeah. i don't have anything else to add really would help if i unmuted myself um don't forget part of it was you were going to go recon and see kind of who prince andrew is see who his advisors are uh, yeah. right we we had some information on the in the dossier a, a little bit about the pecking order, I guess, but we yeah, we kind of needed a little more eyes on target. And to that end, uh Gosrick and Kent have offered to go be your uh stealthy spies while you figure out what you're where exactly you're going to go to get more info on your own. And um yeah, that's the plan. Faye is off doing artificer things. And uh Selise is kind of holding down the fort at the Happy Beholder. I Unless love that you... mm -hmm. I love that we're sending away like our we are sending away our stealthiest people to be stealthy, and the rest of us are just like just gonna hear that like the as we're tiptoeing, just gonna hear the telephone <laughs> behind us. <laughs> uh yeah, no, we we got this. We, yeah, we're fine. We can... It's good. Yeah, we're good. 
Uh, uh, police did tell you that at need you can send for her, but she's kind of holding down the fort so she's never been captured by these people. And if they do try to take her in, it won't end well for them. And we've also kind of acknowledged that because um, because Faye is here, Faye is that unknown quantity, perhaps, mm-hmm. that if if things get so dire, we sort of have an ace in the hole, as in there is another person here that they had not accounted on who actually has our well-being in heart as opposed to whatever the people who got us here for are thinking. Right, so, <laughs> so Kent says goodbye to you. Virgil, Gosric, make sure that he has all of his potions, everything he needs, and they slip away off to do their stealthy things. Where would you all like to go? And let me know if you need a refresher on the places in the high city. Yes. A refresher yes, please. All righty. The high city has Starhaven, and that is where Prince Andrew's palace is. Crowns the rock, it is enclosed behind a wall and is the seat of the prince, and it's just domes and climbing vines. It has many windows, you cannot shatter them, and attendants are all about. Armor guards will greet you at the gates and the wall, and all attendants are in their finest livery, which must remain impeccable at all times. Uh, there's a lake brawl, if for some reason any of you want to take a swim. It fills the chasm, and it provides most of the water that sustains the population. Um, it is there. It's not anything you need to worry about unless you decide that you really want water. Uh, there are festival grounds in the area of Frun, not Fun. It's a public gathering spot for holidays and recreation spot other times. And once a year, they have a lot of games, a.k.a. probably the Olympics. Library of the Spheres, which is the biggest library you've seen outside of Candlekeep. Um, Man of War is the fancy restaurant, if you recall, and the theater company. That is all of the high Raleigh places to go. If you want to know more financial and mercantile center or info on Brawl, that would be the middle city and probably where Gosrick and Kent have headed off to. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. Well, I think I think we should trust Kent and Gosrick with handling the middle tower. I don't think we need to go there. Um, I'd like to try to ask around and see maybe if Prince Andrew has a couple of um, if he's the kind of prince that's like out in the town like doing stuff. Like maybe he has a favorite uh, place of those places that you mentioned that he goes to. Or if he's the okay. kind of person that kind of like stays back in his, you know, castle slash fortress, because like maybe we could catch him out on a social, social thing. Mm-hmm. All right, who are you asking? Uh, I want to, if if we're kind of like assuming we're kind of outside, um, and there's people walking past, I want to, I guess, try to investigate for someone that looks friendly, or that looks sure. All right, uh, you're going to do that, and you're going to be a disadvantage because you all are wanted on Brawl, and you are not in familiar surrounding. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. <laughs> uh, Twelve. Nope, nobody looks friendly. Mm. But but first, also, I need to know what your definition of looking friendly is in this strange place. Uh, I guess it would be uh, close to what I would expect in Waterdeep. So someone that is making eye contact, someone that is uh, generally looking pleasant, not have a scowl on their face. Uh, someone you know, you know, someone that is uh, looks like they'd be open to conversation. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't well say Shaka wouldn't assume that that would be any different on this place. What Shaka this would be wrong. Looking for. Yeah, this is a place of scoundrels, ne'er do wells, privateers, and other not great people. So you're not going to find friendly faces right now, especially not near a tavern. All right. Fair. Anyone? Enough. 
anyone else want to see if they can get locals to talk to them? Um, the two things that when when Lucy was sort of giving us information on um on higher is it high? Uh, sorry, yeah, the high city. My bad. Um, in addition to the uh, the man of war, uh, which is the fancy restaurant, which definitely not letting Kent go to while we're still wanted. Maybe after, you know, a little bite before we go home. Uh, the Library of the Spheres seemed like it might be a place to at least, I mean, it's a library. It's a good place to get information. It might not be people information, um, but if we were headed that way, um, I think Virgil would want to see if anybody was also kind of milling about around the library, like maybe other knowledge seekers might be a little bit more keen to talk. Um, but yeah, friendly faces are obviously not what we're gonna find. Here. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, Library of the Spheres. If you're eventually going to head towards Starhaven and the Prince's Palace, that would be on your way. So sweet. You all can head there. Um, are you all attempting at all to be stealthy? Because I believe with Gosrick not there, the pass without a trace would not be working. Um, yeah, that's yeah. Um, how I, like how dense are the? Is there a lot of people around? Is there like a little? Is it no? Just usual city daytime kind of milling uh, about. This isn't. It's not a big city like Waterdeep or Baldur's Gate. It's Okay. It's, you know, again, it's this is the kind of place where people don't pack together too much because you like having your coin purse stay with you. Mm. Yes. So, I do like that. <laughs> I enjoy it. So you so you can you can wander freely without having to worry about running into people, but you are still conspicuous. Okay. I um, think uh Dahani is not necessarily going to be stealthy because like a person uh, a, a figure who's like skulking about looking over their shoulder continuously is going to draw more attention than someone who's just walking mm. so i think like she's not necessarily going to roll stealth to be unseen she's going to roll like blending in with the crowd like you know going with the flow of traffic and you know, looking like she knows where she's going and stuff like that. All right. Um, what are you rolling since you're not rolling stealth? Um, I mean, it could still be stealth, but not in the not in the being unseen way. Um, it could also be performance to so look like she knows what the heck she's doing. Let's go with performance. Cool. No, D and D Beyond, you betrayed me last week. <laughs> I'm rolling a real D twenty that rolled a natural twenty. There it is for a nineteen. Wow! Oh, right, because yeah. <laughs> so Dahani looks like she was born and raised on Brawl. At this point, she is leading you towards the library. Even though if you don't actually know where you're going, you really look like you know where you're going. Um, the, the rest of you kind of stick with her as an entourage. You should find your way to the library very soon. No one's going to bother you because you look like you are an important verb with somewhere to be. I am an important verb. <laughs> All right. Yeah, definitely headed there then. Nice. All right. Uh, you arrive at the library of the spheres. And what is it you would like to do there? I got you here. Now it's your it's your turn. <laughs> oh, no fair. Nobody said they would be thinking. Um <laughs> I I think ah, there I go again. That we would probably look for just general information about um the history or hierarchy. Or I guess both like the you know, basically the history of the, the royal hierarchy here. Um on on the rock of brawl just to kind of familiarize ourselves with you know as, as shaka mentioned earlier like what kind of what kind of ruler is this prince andrew and you know essentially based on the information that we found in the dossier does this you know 
does this weird sort of like off the wall outside the box scheming seem something like he would do or or as we maybe wondered in the in the room are we all being set up but yeah looking for information on um i guess the royal family or the i have no idea if it's a family or a person but you know um it is a monarch it is a monarchy so it'd be the royal family Okay. Um, everyone who's checked can give me a uh, history checks or investigation, whichever is higher. No, they're both the same. But I suck at both of these, but it's okay. We're just gonna. Also, remember you are on a foreign rock, and there's a slight chance you might not be able to read what you have found. Um. Oh, I guess that would be well. Well, we'll do the checks and we'll, we'll, yeah, I was going to say, I guess the, another thing to ask is we were able to find the library just fine, but when we approach it or approach anything, um, does the signage make sense to us in general? Let me roll and see. You've been on this planet for a little bit. Like, yeah, my, I don't want to be like, oh, like, you know, MMOs where there's clearly a signpost on every corner pointing <laughs> this way or that, but like, it's just general. Does, 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 does the language make sense? <laughs> well, I got a nat 20. Let's see what that happen? means. That's what I'm trying to decide in this moment. <laughs> uh, thank you. Take this. It's my take this D20 that rolled that. Um, you know what? I'm not going to make your lives that much harder, at least not today. You have started to figure out kind of where you're going, all of your adventures, you figured out a lay of the land. And there's also the kind of universal sign of an open book on the sign. Okay. So either you're going to buy books or read books. Either way, you know there are books yeah. in the way that you have headed. Um. All right. Then, yeah. Okay. My history check was twelve, so not not amazing. Okay. Mine Sharif. was. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Sharif. No, no, I, I was just saying. Yeah, if if if, if nobody's gonna take a peek in the book, I want to take a peek. All right. Well, did you roll to to do a history check or investigation? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a dirty twenty. Okay, and Dahani. Got a seventeen. Uh, Dahani and Shaka. You've managed to find a book that is actually readable. It's it's clear this library is visited by people from all over, and that at some point they've gotten people from Faerun, or at least to read the common language. So some of these books are actually legible to you. And you find a, a history book. It's It's kind of weird. It's almost like a textbook someone just stuck on the shelf. And it's like, you know, the the long, 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 Far too long history of the monarchy of Brawl. Please take a seat. This will take you a while. And Is that the whole title? Because that's awesome. Yes. Um it will start literally from the formation of Brawl out of a speck of dust until it's a livable rock and how the monarchy came to be, yada yada yada. There are pages that eventually just start going yada yada yada. Monarch. Regicide, monarchy side, yeah, this is how we got here. And eventually gets to the kind of modern day with uh, chronicling Prince Andrew and how he had his brother killed because he was always jealous of the man and how he thought he would never actually have a chance at ruling because of his very hale and fit brother that suddenly dropped dead. And no one seems to know why, but everyone knows why. The... Uh... I mean, this is the kind of historian I could get used to reading. He, he's only chronicling what's important, and I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, you do find, yeah, you do find a little bit on Prince Kellar, who was the eldest child, and, you know, by right of ascension, et cetera, et cetera, he belonged on the throne. Parents died of old age. He was not that overambitious type, but it seems his younger sibling absolutely was that kind of type of monarch. And, uh, kind of rules with an iron fist and is the not stereotypical villain but he rules based both on fear of losing his power but also kind of scrooge-ish the fear of his deeds coming back to haunt him Ooh. so and since you got a dirty 20 shock you find a little bonus entry that someone clearly hand wrote that 
At times, Prince Kalar's spirit can be seen roaming the walls of the castle. Hmm. Gothic horror. Love it. Okay. Love that for us. Yes. You know, it's very Christmas Carol. Hmm. But yeah, you you do find that uh, Prince Andrew would would cut a bitch basically to get power. <laughs> And did I like that? Like, okay, yeah, that, and did. that makes it very clear who we're dealing with. Very clear. Yes. Okay. So, knowing this, does that get us any closer to figuring out why we were sent here? Uh, you would have to do a role on a new book because this is strictly about the. The history of brawl in the monarchy it does yeah. not have specifics got it i'm i was that was more dahani thinking out loud but quietly because this is a library um like it's not like we were ever going to figure out that this sort of corruption was happening here on brawl so were we sent here to figure this out again this is like this is just rehashing what we talked about at the happy beholder did someone send us here to figure this out and stop it or did like or what yeah we were... oh sorry i thought you were gonna say something <laughs> i was and i realized i'd be interrupting the scene so go ahead i just based on this i'm it does feel like this is orchestrated, but I don't understand our role in it all. Right. So we get captured, right? We get captured, sent to Brawl, originally to the underside where the prison is. So they had to know, whoever sent us had to know that we would figure either figure out how to not get there or get there and then figure out how to leave unless there is like the secret third thing that we're missing yeah and if they know if they know that much about us they you know as we said like if they tried to capture us we would just end up escaping so yeah i i, I think um I don't know. I, I yeah, Sh Shaka. He kind of looks around and he feels a little bit exasperated. I guess with the situation, um, he is continues to page through um, this book, kind of furiously looking for something to help him out. But uh, you know, like he found what he found earlier, so he can't really find anything more. And, and like he just kind of, um, you know just like kind of places the book down and looks over at at um at like uh at like a dahani um and says um i don't know dahani uh maybe maybe you can survey i don't know would it be strange if you surveyed around with flight to maybe get a sense of something around here go on a flyabout you didn't even have to ask yeah, because like I don't know if if there's other people, other people flying in the air around here. If there's a traffic jam, I was I was going to ask like, is that a thing that we have seen? Ish, have or we not seen other Aarakocra? Oh no, Aarakocra are not native to the Rock of Brawl. Um, you flying around might bring attention, depending on a role. Okay. All right. So and so could I could I have um gleaned that information on our walk to the library like among all of the people that we saw walking here i didn't see that many aracogra if any correct so what you've seen are mostly like the astral elves that you encountered the griff um quite a few get yankee or seem to be serving in either the guard or other roles here you're not seeing a lot of the cultures that you're used to seeing in faerun and in waterdeep got it okay so How's this for a thing? Since we are trying to attract attention to ourselves to a point, um, I will go on flyabout, but 
it's intentional. I haven't seen any other Eric Hoker here, and they know we're here. So I fly about, but I don't come directly back to the library because if they see an Eric Hoker land at the library, we're going to be like, oh, they're there. So I fly about, get a lay of the land, and then land somewhere else, go invisible, come back here. And how long do you think that'll take you? Um, well, it depends how, what, well, uh, how, what part of the rock do we want me to, to survey? Like, do you want me to, like, Kent and Gosrick are in the, the, the middle city. Do you want me to just survey the high city and come back? Well, you're in the high city if you're in the library. Yeah, yeah. But do, like, I'm asking Shaka and mm-hmm. Virgil, do you want me to survey the high city and then just come back? I think if they're, let's see, if uh, Gosrick and Kent are surveying the middle city, we've come to the high city, and the happy beholder is in the low city. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering... I don't know. Like I, I think it would be better if we, if we're going to lead them, maybe we, we, we try to divert them back to the low city. Because oh. if anything happened now, we are far too close to uh, Prince Andrew's palace. Uh, s- sorry, Starhaven. Uh, we are far too close to that, and they may have access to send far more troops after us than they yeah. did. So. Perhaps if we're going to arrange an ambush, we do it on slightly farther away terms. Okay. Uh, right. then, then, yeah, I'll, I'll start in the high city, make my way through middle to middle city to low city. If I notice that I'm being followed, I just vanish. That's right. Yeah, sounds sounds good to me. Or you could vanish and then go fly. I I've only got a minute of ah uh, yes. Yeah, so if I noticed that I'm being followed, it'd be it'd be easier to vanish then and then seek low ground than to uh than to do the other thing. Okay. Um, if that is your plan, what are you two gonna do while the honey's off flying about? I think Shaka, um, he still is considering um, trying to get some more information on uh, Prince Andrew. So I think he's going to just see if he can maybe overhear anyone, any gossip, or uh, um, maybe try to... Well, Harry tried to look some for someone that's friendly, and and that didn't work. Um, so I think he's just gonna, yeah, try to um, try to scout around a little bit and like see if he can overhear some conversations that might have to do with, uh, with the prince. Yeah, yeah, here sneaking around like a Dragon Age Inquisition in the Winter Palace. <laughs> yeah, well, like, we can wander and, and sidle up. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, li- like in. Uh, you know how in Assassin's Creed One they had those like s- circles of conversations. <laughs> you had to like stay in the stay in the circles. Yep. <laughs> so I'm trying yep. To... All right. Uh, and while Sharif, Sharif, oh my God, Shaka's doing that. What is Virgil doing? Um, Virgil's going to try and get his bearings just to essentially walk back to um, you know. Get the get the get the lay of the land essentially a little more familiar with the high city and then walking back um to the low city back to the happy beholder. Um because yeah, I feel like I, I feel like Shaka's got the right idea for listening, but maybe maybe we listen to the people who, you know, we we re- since the guards essentially came in there moaning about their day, maybe we get a little more information from other eavesdropping into Happy Beholder. Just eavesdropping a clock all the way down. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I've got rolls from from Dahani. 
Shaka, while while we see what our burb eyes can see, uh, give me rolls to let me know what you're finding. Uh, meanwhile, our burb is not the best investigator. Um, not. And is okay at stealth. Uh, for those who may be wondering, I asked Latia to give me some rolls behind the scenes. So, it's a city. It's it's a city. It it's a map. It looks like the map that you've dug up somewhere. It's it's, it's a <laughs> place to live. But by by sheer luck, no one spots you. And then Virgil, do you want to give me any roles for what you are doing? Do you want to check anything? Or are you just hightailing it back to the happy beholder? Um I will um I don't know, like if I'm essentially I'm trying to do more. Yeah, I think I would probably um Virgil would probably do an investigation to kind of get the lay of the land on the way back and then maybe a perception check back at the habit beholder. Uh, investigation is not the strong suit. As is shown by an 11. <laughs> it's, a perfect, it's a perfectly cromulent roll. Um, the perception, um, assuming uh, assuming he's even able to find his way back to the habit beholder after that abysmal roll, the perception check is, is 23. <laughs> You have gotten lost on your way back to the Happy Beholder. It's your first time walking the streets of Brawl. And unfortunately, because you're lost, you've made yourself a target for some of the city guard looking for you all. Oh, no. But because of the 23, you do notice you're being followed. Um, hmm. Are, are they? Sorry, are are they following from like a distance, or are they like fairly close? Uh, are you with Virgil? Oh, oh, oh! I thought you meant that like we were all being followed. Okay, gotcha. No, no, no. everyone's kind of off doing their own thing, and from what I understand, your plan is to all get back to the tavern at yes. some point. Yes. So, uh, while Virgil figures out what to do with his newfound tale um shaka what did you investigate for and what did you get uh how many just one roll how many how many things are you trying to look for um so i'm looking for i'm looking to one um if the prince has any like sort of local haunts that he likes to go to like if he likes Mm -hmm. to visit in any of 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 uh, of uh, of other things, and two, if there's any sort of rumors about either uh, strengths of his or weaknesses of his, um, so I'm mainly looking for those two those two things. Okay, and give like, me, yeah, yeah. Uh, give yeah, me and, rolls. Oh. Okay, cool. What were you gonna two say? Rolls. No, yeah, yeah, and and like I didn't only mean like physical or strengths or weaknesses, like anything, like maybe he. Is susceptible to card games, or, or you know, or like yeah, to, that all know, depends like, on what you roll. Yeah, let's see. All right, so first I'll roll for the see if he's at any locations. Uh, that's another dirty twenty. Ooh. Uh, and then I'll roll for the strengths or weaknesses. That is another dirty twenty. That's very strange. <laughs> I. I wrote, I wrote three tens in a row. It's very strange. Um, All right. That's your first question. The prince doesn't go out much. As a man who literally murdered his way to power, he doesn't give people the opportunity to do the same to him. Mm-hmm. When he yeah. is seen out in the city, he is surrounded by a red of guards. Mm-hmm. Um, and you all have seen this kind of person before you've seen someone who clearly fears those in their power any place he deigns to go would be maybe the super fancy restaurant but he gets his own private booth and he has people blocking the way in and out other than serving folks um as for vices you hear something about an off-world brandy he seems to like 
but he doesn't indulge very often because, again, another avenue for someone to poison him and take him out. He is a paranoid man that is living in a prison of his own hubris. Huh? Got it. Got it. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so like Shaka's just, you know, he's going around over here and this stuff, and he she doesn't engage anyone though. He's 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 had enough fumble conversations. Uh so he's just trying to listen and just like, you know, just be on his own. And then I guess after he gets that information, he's gonna head back um to the uh happy beholder. Yeah. Um, there's other vices you, you catch wind of, but not quite enough to get full details. Just say when, when the prince indulges, he indulges, but it's not very often. Okay. Got it. Um, so you're on your way back. Yeah. Uh, Dahani, are you going straight back? Would you cross paths with either Chaka or Virgil? Um... I think after flying around for a while and not and realizing that I'm either flying too high or too fast to get any information, I would get lower. Um, and if you'd let me, I'd roll a perception to see if I spot either of them on the way back. Sure. That is going to be a higher DC. You just know you're in a city. Yeah. And you've only seen everyone's new clothes once. Um, 16. Well, Virgil sticks out with the new duds, so you do catch Virgil, but you not catch Wind of Chaka. Okay. Um, then yeah, I would fly down to Virgil. Yes. Uh, Virgil, you have one murder bird with you again, and you know that you're being tailed. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I think Virgil um, doesn't say out loud, but uses message to let. I was excited about it. Uh, uses message to let Tahani know that um, that I and I suppose now we are being followed. Are they are they a good tail or are they a clumsy tail? Uh, they are a good tail. The only reason you saw them is because you got a twenty three. Okay. Um. I don't know if they want to take action, but they, but, but I have been seen. How oh, fun. Um, well, this is all in the message back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, do we go back to the happy beholder or do we try to shake them? Whereabouts, um, whereabouts was Virgil basically lost? <laughs> Virgil, Virgil was lost between high and middle. Okay. Um, hmm. I think, um, I think we definitely should try to, um, to try to shake them, or at the very least, you know, well, if they're a good tail, they probably can't shake them, but maybe we can, now that we know we're being followed, lead them to someplace of our choosing. Mm -hmm. um, is there any, in the middle city, any major, any major hustle and bustle anywhere that seems like it would have a lot of, a lot of people and be loud? Um, and, oh. Wow, my headphones just crackled. Um, da, da, da. There's actually quite a few places. There is the Great Market. There are a couple. There are quite a few guild houses. Um, there's a Legion house where it's just a bunch of soldiers. If you want to take your chance there, um, the Merchant Company is here, and there is the Great Market. It's a chaotic expanse of vendors. Street performers, beggars, orators, merchants, and customers of all descriptions, sizes, and shapes. It is the hub of the middle city. During business hours, which this still is, people swarm the area and pickpockets dart among them to fly their trade. But you all are seasoned adventurers. You would know to avoid pickpockets. Also, you have no currency they can really use, so. 
Yeah. The pickpockets are really good. Then it's almost like being impressed and being like, sorry, I got some dust in there for you. <laughs> right. um, <laughs> um, yeah. I, I think that that, you know, seeing, seeing like that, that looks like a big, a big bustling area, mm -hmm. then Virgil would kind of, you know, basically suggest back to Dahani, maybe we lose ourselves in, uh, in that, in the, uh, in, the in the street market, great market, yeah. the market. The, the market, the things, the sights, the, the people, the sounds, the, the people, the other people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to roll for your tail, which sounds really bad out loud. Um, and then if y'all want to roll for um, either survival or stealth or sleight of hand. I'm going to roll and see how well your 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 tail can do. Ooh, my my take this die got me a seventeen. I rolled, I rolled a, a twenty three survival. Okay. I rolled a fifteen uh, stealth, and that's like my highest modifier. <laughs> well, <laughs> you still. I mean, well, Virgil did not do as well as as the tail, but. They lose track of Dahani. A small bird is apparently easy to lose in a crowded market, but a tall Azamar sorcerer is not. Uh, you still have the tail, Virgil. I knew, I knew the high heels on the boots were just like, <laughs> that was just a step too far. Dang it. Um, yep. You're head above, and then now you're paying for it. Um, then, then, yeah. Um, let's see. So, I guess does Virgil know where Dahani, like, or is there a message? Lost track? Oh yeah, true. Um, yeah, I think perhaps using just like a, just like a like the simplest of beacon back and forth to so Virgil would know where Dahani is, and will casually kind of walk to intercept. Um, essentially, bring bringing Dahani and Virgil closer and perhaps pin, pinpointing but uh using the market as chaos didn't work super well for him so he is going to um act as if he has not as act as if he knows nothing and just taking in the sights all right uh i'm gonna roll and see if your tail tries to do anything else um since they don't want to lose their prey hey can I ask uh, Virgil, does, do you know how many people are, are tailing you? Uh, how many has Virgil seen tailing him? Uh, you have seen two individuals that are different. I, oh, sorry. Um, sorry, I need to ask this. Uh, they, uh, why can my brain not make the words? Are they wearing, um, are they wearing uh, Palace Royal Guards outfits? Or is it more like we're being followed by... By people the way that we were when we first got here that don't appear to be descript. Mm, good question. And do they look very single minded? Because <laughs> they mentioned, they mentioned like like we found out that information about the the mind flare under Baron. And so if they've been, uh, if they have bugs in their brains, <laughs> they're going to be very like very focused on what they're doing and not necessarily anybody else mm. not really bugs in their thing. brains though oh my gosh i couldn't think of the word the actual <laughs> word that it is you you, you got it across <laughs> <laughs> sorry <Wow>. Tanya. <laughs> one of them is laser focused on Virgil, mm -hmm. the other one seems to be thrown off by the fact that you disappeared in the thin air. But they both are wearing pretty much standard garb for the royal house, but it's not the fancy royal guard armor that you saw earlier when they tried to take it. Tailed by some nobles. Weird. Okay. Um, then. Then yeah, um, relay, relaying that it's 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 too casual but well dressed, and 
and yeah, um, you know, the, the, the mental conversation will continue as Virgil continues to walk. Uh, so the one that is thrown off by the honey disappearing is you know is kind of not as smooth as they think they are but the one that is focused on virgil they're kind of keeping up with you and they're ducking at the right moments and they're not losing you but they're trying to be way less obvious because they're annoyed that they, you spotted them to begin with but again that high roll is why you even notice Okay. Um, this is gonna be fun. Uh oh. Okay. I, I whatever whatever I am thinking, I need to wait because I need to hear what Latia is about to say. <laughs> Do it. Um. Can I? So with Virgil having relayed to me what these people are wearing, and the one person that is extremely focused on finding Virgil, I would like to. Go invisible in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Find this person and stun them. Oof. Now, you said that invisibility only lasts you a minute, correct? Right. It lasts, so it lasts a minute or until I do something, but I can do it multiple times as long as I've got the key points. Okay. Do you have to roll for this? To go invisible? No, to take your action. I do. So, okay. Um, go ahead and and get as close as you can and go invisible, and then right. give me your rolls for stunning. And if you would be so kind as to kind of explain what your key points do for those that may not know what a monk does, sure. AKA um, DM. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> um, so this being the same day, I have uh, that should be that many key. Um, I've got 15 key points. Uh, oh, a pool of key all? points. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because I went invisible once other one other time today. Um, I've got that pool that I can use to do all of my monk abilities. So it costs four key points to go invisible. Okay. Um, and then uh, rolling to hit. Do I have advantage because I'm invisible? Yes. Yeah. Normally you wouldn't, but you are invisible and you are going for the one that is kind of looking for, well, you're, you're going to the one that's tailing Virgil, correct? Yeah. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him off of Virgil's tail. Okay. That one is a bit more alert, but because you're invisible, you do get advantage. Okay. That is to hit then a 25. I'm going to say that a 25 hits them. Okay. Um, so you're trying to stun them or kill them? No, no, no. I, this is going to be non-lethal, like non-lethal damage. Um, but I'm going to spend another key point for stunning strike, which I do believe also my DC for that has gone up because of the belt I got out of the Dragon's Horde. So this person has to be a... 21 All right, um, execution saving throw. Uh, I'm going to roll it. The only way that I'll probably beat that is if I get a nat 20. And I'm not rolling that die because I already got a nat 20 out of it today. That is so not near a 21. Okay, cool. So, um... Virgil, you're you're aware of the person who is tailing you. So what you kind of see out of your periphery is this dude, just this person, just kind of freeze. And uh, you you see like the briefest flurry of like the the briefest flash of feathers as this person gets hit very very cleanly in like the back of the neck. And then he just kind of like crumbles. Like and a sack uh, of potatoes. Like a sack of potatoes. Mm. Um, space potatoes. Space potatoes. Um, and then you hear a voice out of nowhere go, pickpocket, pickpocket, as Dahani leaves. Okay, that Wait, was. Wait, are, 
<laughs> Wait, are you are they claiming you're the pickpocket or the no? Dahani is yelling pickpocket about the wow. person tailing about the person tailing Virgil. Well done. All right, uh, that definitely creates your distraction to get away while this person is kind of investigated. It is short lived though when people recognize what they're wearing, yeah. so. It gave you enough time to get away from, from the great market. Uh, and I'm going to say between the two of you, you can find your way back to the happy beholder. I'm not going to make you roll to walk down the street again. Awesome. Yay. I mean, between two adults, you should be able to find your way back, in theory. <laughs> oh no, we're we're using ways and they're trying to lead us directly into oncoming traffic and it's just not going well. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Um so yeah, just back to the happy beholder and and just similar to before, uh trying to find um you know, like being unnoticed without being unnoticed, just taking up a table and again listening, like perhaps we will Perhaps we'll hear some royal royal guard gossip again. Um, just trying to trying to see if there's anything. If there if there's any, I guess Virgil will be listening to see if there's any major topic of the day that that seems to be either heated or repeated, that kind of thing. Heated or repeated. I like that. Um, give me that Assassin's Creed investigation check to hear gossip. Um Okay, investigation or perception? Investigation? Yeah, because you're actively trying to overhear people, so yes. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry for everyone's ears. That was a three because I got a two on the die. You know that you <laughs> made it to the happy beholder, but that's about it. Well, it's good to be home-ish. Yeah, there, there are people talking. <laughs> People. Everybody's talking at me. I can't hear a word they're saying. Okay. People like, talking. <laughs> uh, the honey. Yeah, what's up? Uh, are you investigating as well, or were you just kind of? Yeah, no, you know, I'll, you know I'll investigate. And uh, Shaka, have you made it back? Or are you still out and about? Uh, I'd like to think I made it back at this time. Okay. I rolled a five, so people are indeed talking. Wow. Okay. Shaka, you enter to see your companions looking a little bit confused and lost, even though they're all back to the happy beholder. Yeah, so I come in, um, and in 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 like I say, hey, hey, the mission go okay? We're here. Yeah, it's it's been really really difficult to pick up any kind of local flavor or local buzz, but. We were followed, and I believe we lost them, but someone is still actively searching for us. So you think it's somebody in here, inside of the beholder? I don't think so. Um, and at that, Virgil does does do another look around to see if uh, there are any other singularly minded focused people, because this is getting weird. In a all right. Well, I'm I'm not gonna make you keep that three. So if you'd like to try, try again. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll do another investigation check. It's it's a nine. It's not look, it's the worst skill that I got. Actually, not really, but it's close to it. I'm um, just glad that we'll be live next week and all of you have to use real dice. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so I'm I'm gonna uh go up to both of them and say, um Got some news about uh about the prince. Um, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if we could share it here, but um, yeah, no, let's go upstairs. I mean, you yeah. still have the you have the rooms that that's uh, Slice yeah they got you. And Slice yeah. is upstairs, just kind of whittling away at a beholder carving of all things. Because what else was she gonna do? Okay. So 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 yeah. So I motion for them to go up to the rooms. Um. And then, uh, assuming that both of them come to the rooms, um, Shaka says, like, look, the prince, he's a bit of a recluse in his, uh, uh, I don't know if you call it a palace, but I'll just, Shaka says palace. And 
in, in his palace. So if we want to get to him, I think we got to find a way in there, which we kind of knew already. I just wanted to, you know, overhear some confirmation for it. Um, also, uh, does anybody know anything about Brandy? I'm, I'm not a, I don't know much about. Uh, no, B, B, Excuse me, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> uh, yeah, like there's there's this off world, uh, off world. Oh no, no, I I think he said bourbon. Actually, not a brandy. No, there was a bourbon. backstage uh, commentary. Of what it could be? I did indeed say brandy. Brandy, they, yes. Okay. You know what? Yes. It's yeah. it's intergalactic. We're we're gonna run with it. We're gonna yeah, run. It, it's yeah. it's a dark liquor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's an intergalactic liquor uh called the liquor is mine um you know uh and uh uh yeah um has like anyone uh are you guys familiar with uh brandy at all because there's supposedly something that the prince really favors and i feel like maybe if it's around or maybe if we're familiar with it we could uh possibly use that as a as a way to get an audience with the prince <laughs> um well i feel like Celise is the authority on all things fine liquor and Celise just kind of looked up from her whittling so wait you mean to tell me that you really think you all including i guess me i don't know are just gonna walk up to the palace like yo we brought you a bottle of booze like what do you think is happening here no, I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be like that. But I think it. Would, I think it might be seen as a good gesture, um, and it could get us farther than just trying to, you know, uh, fight our way in there. Um, this isn't a housewarming, Shaka. These people are trying to capture all of us. I'm also wondering if maybe that's just what we're going to have to do. Get captured. Getting getting captured on our own terms we have definitely we have been we have been spotted we have been followed the moment that we got here and changed our destinations which means that someone was expecting us yeah. and it was the royal guard that came out to meet us yes. i i don't know if they're in someone's pocket or if that was the prince themselves and now we have these you know as as faye has said and as we have just noticed these extraordinarily single-minded people following us maybe this is the only way he knows how to get his point across or maybe he's mm. got to keep up appearances too remember mm. what we learned that he had his own brother taken out yeah yeah so he's but not like, above being murderous right but also these people from what I can gather, the people who've been tailing us have been more interested in capture versus murder. I mean, what happened? Didn't you say somebody's tailing you in the market? Yeah. Are they dead? No. No. Okay. So you didn't murder. Good. Honey looks offended. Like, why would she? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I wasn't with you for a day and Shaka made a zombie. Speaking of which, where's your zombie? The zombie's probably been chilling in the room the whole time, so. <laughs> just, a, just, just like standing facing the corner. I mean, I'm mostly impressed uh, at Elise whittling a beholder because I'm thinking like it's going to get really tricky when she gets to the stalks and like keeping them together while keeping the rest of the art together. But yeah, yeah um, the, the poor zombie, <laughs> poor Bernard. Yeah, poor I think Jimmy. I I think uh yeah Bernard uh I think Bernard uh I don't know I, I I feel like the Royal Guard probably has some way of getting like in and out of the palace yeah they walk in they're the Royal Guard no, but no but there 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 might be some secret way, way? For them or some special way yeah like there might be some kind of uh I don't know, I'm just spitballing. Are here. you suggesting you tell Bernard to go back to the palace and see where he goes? I, I was saying, is that information we can even get from from them in this state? 
I, we wouldn't be able to get it verbally, but he could either, and I guess this will be a DM question. Uh, maybe if we got a uh, map or such, he could point to someplace. Uh, or yeah, I don't. I don't think he can write. Um, but like, I think he could point. Um, or we could ask him to sort of guide us somewhere. Um, you know, if if it's uh like an opening or like maybe maybe a door that um you know that can only be opened with a certain key that they all have or something like that. So Salise is like paused her whittling so she doesn't cut her finger off. So you want to use the, the zombie to show you some secret entrance you're assuming exists. And I'm not I'm not trying to be the naysayer. I'm just trying to look at all our options here. Yeah. But no one has looked at the obvious option of just stealing uniforms and going in, following <laughs> them in. Oh, um, that does sound intriguing. Um, I guess if if there's a lot of guards, I guess it would make sense that they wouldn't all be able to recognize each other by face. I guess I got the sense that the royal guard was a, probably a smaller, uh, a smaller contingent that would know each other individually. Um, well, we're not trying to pretend to be like the elite guard that is directly with the prince we're just trying to be like members of the royal guard that are just out and about in the palace i mean those two in the tavern the way they were complaining it's like there's definitely not there's definitely not some kind of nobility training with the guard they were they just kind of seemed like grunts that had a hard job i right. mean if you, so if you were the prince would you send your highly trained probably really well armed guards after people that you didn't think were important. Yeah. No. I mean the prince could have wrote the dossier for for all we know. You know? Um I guess. How uh, uh a memory check. How much detail was there on the prince and in the dossier and and what basically voice did it feel to be in? Was it was it like a self-aggrandizing written of his own of his own efforts or was it more of a very detailed like boop 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 that's fact, a good fact, question fact. Uh, like uh, from what i know and this is it probably is whatever's in dnd beyond use <laughs> dnd beyond for all your okay. dm needs but let okay. me tell you um let me look at one second all right um da, 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 da. there is an extra tidbit that you all find as you are looking through the dossier for new things. It seems that the monarch has invested heavily in something called the Spell Jarmark Academy. Hmm. You've not seen any anything that looks like a school or university. No one has mentioned it, but you catch this little tidbit the second time flipping through the dossier. And it is written as, it's written almost in two voices. One is very kind of, oh, this rich know-it-all gave us money, so I guess you have to do what he says. Much like a lot of universities that get endowments from rich people. And the other one stating about the things he's done and how he's come into power has been very matter of fact dry historian voice mm. mm -hmm. okay. so yeah uh chaka by the way is uh kind of standing shoulder to shoulder with bernard and trying to size up and see if they're <clears throat> similar similar uh Similar sizes and says. Wait, where's is the zombie with you now, or did you call the zombie? Uh, so was not letting that zombie stay in her room, just so you know. This was also Kent and Virgil's room. I think was the biggest room. Oh, I thought we said he was in the room. No, uh, we well, if, yeah, we we would have made we would have made Shaka Kent, yeah. especially would have made Shaka leave that in in Shaka's room. 
<laughs> Leave that in shock zone. Okay. Um, it him. He has a name. Um. Uh. Well then. Uh. Well then. Uh. He won't cite himself, but he'll he'll like a mention like, well, we have one uniform, and I'm sure Bernard could lead us to some more. We also have a decoy in the form of Bernard. Now that we're talking about outfit swapping. Salisa's made the most disgusted face at all of you for even considering taking the clothes off a zombie. No, I'm not talking about taking the clothes off of a zombie. I'm talking about and wearing the clothes them. on over I mean, the zombie. He's a recent. He's a recent zombie. He hasn't been. It's fully still been a couple of days. It's still hasn't been, been a fully. Days. Yeah, you know. A, I I I will I will volunteer to wear his clothes. Um, and Salisa's like, you can stay downwind of me. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I I think I can handle it. I don't think Rick and Mortar's have... fully set out on him yet. Yeah, as 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 long as we have like a similar size, we're good. Um, and then Shaka, uh, I guess, leaves to go in his room. Uh... Sorry, my brain just went to a really bad place. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't think I, I think Shaka is the only one who's who's like decided that this is the plan. <laughs> yeah, Vir, yeah, Virgil's Virgil's face is very confused right he now. Is, it is just simply like, so what is wait, what what just happened? What is the plan? What are we yeah, doing? He, what is what is happening? Salise has gone back to Willing's like, if if I understood, she's still got this horribly disgusted look on her face. Like you can see her mentally looking for where the nearest hub is after this conversation. I think he's going to swap clothes with his zombie and try to pretend to be a guard. And he's going to send the zombie out dressed in his clothes to be a decoy, which that's going to last for like five Gregorian minutes. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I'm not saying that it wouldn't have some small modicum of perhaps success but i really feel like we should go over details you should um also where Kent and, <laughs> where's kent and gothric they go on, in uh, the middle they city. On recon they are yeah they are you know we were we were trying to get the lay of the land in plain sight, and they are they are doing their best to bring back a recon and information, but a little more stealthily than we were. Oh, okay. Um hmm. uh, uh, okay, I guess I guess if we come up with a plan, we can let them know. Can you me- how far does message go, Virgil? Um It goes 120. Yeah, it goes it goes 120 feet, and um, and because I'm familiar with um both Kent or Gosrick, it wouldn't it doesn't matter if there's anything around or between. But you know, Virgil basically, if he if he tries to look, would get that sense of can or can't reach them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is just like, I guess I could look. For whatever this brandy whiskey, de- which is which is it? Because there is a difference, and we're also not on our home planet, which is not a thing I thought I'd say ever in my life. I believe Shaka mentioned that it was brandy, brandy. which doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for a monarch. Uh, I mean, there is there is a a a pub or tavern downstairs. Not that they might have this unique blend, but at the very least, they probably could give some information if anyone on Brawl, sorry, on anyone on the Rock of Brawl has it or has a way to get it, since smuggling doesn't exactly seem out of pocket here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Taka comes uh, walking back into the room. Um... I don't know. Please describe what you look like. Yeah, I was like, should I roll to see how well this fits? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Give me I performance. Roll. Performance. At yes. a disadvantage, because you 
you're now weekend at Bernie's doing oh, this. So okay, all right. Let's... Oh no, you're gonna suffer for this. <laughs> uh, okay, a seven. Nice. Oh, oh shocker. This was not made for a your tiefling build at all whatsoever. Yeah. Is you, it too you're, baggy or is it too tight? <laughs> your pants are flooding, but the arms are weirdly too long. <laughs> this, so, this is not going to work out. So what do you think? Okay. Um, <sighs> I, and there's like a, there's like, Virgil's face goes on a small controlled journey and and then says, Well, we were we were wondering about this and what assuming that that we can make this indicating Shaka in the an outfit work, what exactly is our plan? Are are we still are we still walking directly into what is very clearly a trap or yeah, like I mean, if if it's just me, I can go and I can go to the palace, uh, and just see what kind of information I can get. At least he's just giving you the weirdest look. Like, you really gonna go outside like that? I don't think it's going to um, be very convincing. No. They clearly, they're 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 I, like even Virgil is confused as to why the the outfit fits Shaka in the weird way. <laughs> that it does, but yeah. It's, it's just like they clearly either there's some additional facet to clothes, or perhaps they have very unique bodies here that we didn't notice. But this doesn't look like something you can get away with. Okay. Uh, well, um, I trust y'all. So maybe, uh, maybe I was so into the idea that I, you know, didn't really think about how it, that we would have some exact fit as uh bernard so uh um it's cool it's cool and sh and then uh, shaka looks uh he says it's cool in that like kind of disappointed uh that disappointed way it's fine it's cool uh no it's not you look ridiculous <laughs> take that go to your room and put first take a bath because that ugh, no Why are you wearing zombie clothes didn't you have enough of this we're just trying to yeah we're, we're trying to make sure that if we're going to uh if we're going to go in with force we we want to make sure that we're ready for that and i just don't think that this kind of stealth approach is going to work for us i would uh <laughs> well i was thinking about casting minor illusion to make it look better but it only lasts a minute so i have to repeatedly cast it <laughs> <laughs> every what? minute i mean I mean, it what is a cantrip. Your spell slots. Uh, I mean, it is a cantrip. Uh, but you know, uh, I don't think I want to keep casting it every 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 group every Gregorian minute. So uh, I just, just see the cartoon of of Shaka casting this, and then all of a sudden the outfit gets oh, cast it again. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah um, so uh, it's fine. The um, honey. The, the honey says that I I truly think that. Our best bet at this point may be to just get captured. So the only question I have for that is, do we want to get captured by walking in the front door of the palace? Or do we want some of these... Virgil searching for the word. Followers. Um, he's mesmerized. Do, do we want that instead? They didn't have weapons. They were just following us very focused. Focusedly? Sure, that's the word he's going to go with right now. Focusedly. Focusedly. Yes, focusedly. Um, <laughs> do, do, do we want to approach the... Do we want to approach Prince Andrew directly, or do we want to see if... Maybe there's another route to get there. Or maybe be captured by the Royal Guard right, right before you. Are you talking could, about yourself? I can walk. Like, I can Virgil, walk Virgil in. like looks looks right past Shaka, like just trying to hold. Like I can walk in with uh uh you three plus uh plus plus Gazer and Ken as prisoners. 
but you're wanted too. Well, I'm a guard. And as there, I, ca- I have to ask this now for the sheer comedy of it. Was there any kind of hat, helmet, face mask, or otherwise headgear that was also with the outfit? And is Shaka attempting to wear that too? He's attempting to wear everything. Uh, and none of it fits because he got a seven. So every and possible, hat. yeah, every possible way something can't fit, it's not fitting. Uh, so yes, he is. Uh, so I'm assuming that the Royal Guard probably has some kind of hat or something, right? Or uh, oh, they probably. do. Yeah, they, yeah, they have yeah. a fancy hat. Yeah, so he's definitely trying to wear it. It's just you know, either too big or too small, or maybe both at the same time. <laughs> You know, I mean, and um, I mean, there is also the possibility of capturing somebody who's following us and interrogating them, but I'm just not sure that would work. I okay, so we just want to turn ourselves in. Yeah, so you're forgetting two members of your party are not back. Yeah, yeah, that's true. yeah they, we are we are planning. Um, yeah. Actually, you might come back with some info. How long has it been? A couple hours? It, it's been a while. Um, I'm just double checking my character sheet for something. Because y'all... I love that you're playing right into my hands. Oh, I didn't say that out loud. Um, I, what? I heard nothing. Nothing I all. heard everything. <laughs> that's that's how saying it out loud works. I, mm-hmm. yeah, like that's that's what that means. Uh Salise is just kind of sitting there and just watching all of you. And she starts like waving her fingers with the that has the the knife. She's kind of playing with the knife. I could just cast sleep on Shaka, say that I've turned on you all and hand you over. Ooh. Because they, uh, they didn't have me. I was a blood hunter for a while. Wait, why did you cast sleep on me, though? Because you're clear, because you were dressed like this, we're going to give away our plan. But they still, they still would know who you are to find you. But I can explain that, and don't forget we have Faye as our ace in the hole. Mm. Or they could turn in all of us, but then she's in the line of fire. They don't know and who she is. Then how would she know? How would she have known that they were looking for us? I'm guessing this Dusty probably has something about her. Yeah, was there any when we passed by the docks? I don't know if there was any kind of and essentially I should ask if there's anything that we have seen on our travels here and about any sort of bounty board notice board oh any yeah kind of, is anyone even, is even guard going up with a little screen that has our faces on it like <laughs> like a minority report screen uh that's a good question um, because that would mean that the people that are following us might not even be allied with the you know royal guard well, or they could just be random people that notice us from aboard Right. It's more that we're, yeah, like I'm trying to figure, like, I know we know that we are expected. We know that we are being watched. And, um, dang it, my brain, shoot. Uh, we know that we, we're expected, we're being watched, but essentially, is is it just still those interested parties looking for us? Or by now, is everyone just aware, like, hey, you know, six strangers rolled up and, but I'm bummed. Um, That is going to be de- privileged DM information for now. Okay. Mm. So, right. so in that case, we can we can only um, then. And Virgil says, "Well, we've only we were approached by the Royal Guard first, and Faye and Celise were sorry, my bad. We were followed, and Faye peeled off and handled our followers the first time. Mm-hmm. We now have been followed again, and." These two seemed to be specifically looking for the two of us. Shaka, did you notice at all if you were 
followed or tailed? Did anyone take an interest in you while you were out earlier? Uh, not that I noticed. Um, I mean, to be honest, I was more interested in overhearing conversations, though, than looking to see if anyone was observing me or tailing me. Um, but nothing jumped out to me, um, either while I was around or on the way back to the tavern. I didn't, didn't notice anything. Uh, Shaka, you were being tailed, but because of your focus on other matters, you never noticed. But what's interesting okay. is your tail kind of peeled off. Once they saw that you were just trying to talk to people, it's like they lost <laughs> interest in you. Huh? All right. So who would... So like, but like none none of the characters would know that though, All right? Nobody here would. Nobody would know. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, so uh, yeah, I, I don't think I was. I'm not sure though. I guess is what I would say to the group. Player knowledge, yes. Character knowledge, no. Yeah. Got it. I don't. I don't like this. We've been brought here. The only trouble we've caused is essentially in protecting ourselves. ourselves and yet someone still wants to bring us in capture us use us for some kind of purpose it really does feel like going to somebody responsible for those actions is the next is the next thing to do i perhaps our plan of trying to get closer and go straight to the prince was aiming too high. But we're not going to get any more information, and we're certainly not going to find the way home if we don't at least come face-to-face -face with somebody who's responsible for having us all here. Okay. So then it sounds like you want to try to find one of these tales and interrogate them? Well, one of them got falsely accused for a few minutes of being a pickpocket. The other, um, <laughs> the other saw what happened to their friend and came and kind of bailed them out, but you all had vanished at that point. So for now, we're going to say no one knows, at least that you're aware of, that the rivals are kind of holed up at the Happy Beholder. Thank you. Okay. As far as you know. Um, I don't know. My brain is tired walking in circles around it. And Dahani also, just, she kind of pancakes on the floor. Uh, you also could actually have dinner and take take a little bit because you're not sure when Gosrick and Kent will be back. Yeah. Shaka's still in his gear, hope, hope, hoping that y'all will change your mind. He hasn't changed shit. <laughs> Give me a persuasion with disadvantage. Yeah. A thirteen. Oh wow. no, you fail. I would have had a twenty nine, but that disadvantage. Uh... Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Salise is this close to just dumping a bucket of soapy water on you to get you out of this disgusting uniform. Shaka, I don't think that's the plan that we're going to go with. Oh, I didn't say anything. I was just standing here, just. Yeah. Right, but you're standing there and you've got this look on your face that is just he extremely has, He definitely <laughs> has a look on his face where he's looking individually at each person like, huh? Huh? You know, as 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 a way there's just there's other, just like the as we're weighing all these other options, he's like No, Talisa's is just she's right. like giving you that look while she can take she at this point she's not even looking at the beholder as she works on it. She's just giving you the stink eye. Shaka. I think there is, there are the seeds of a plan here. Perhaps we can use that deceased guard or returned guard. I'm not sure how you refer to them. Perhaps we can use him in some way, but I do not believe you're going to okay. be able to pass with the uniform. I got it. Uh, how about a little compromise, guys? How about I go down in the lobby of the Beholder dressed like this? And see if, I, you know, maybe people will respond and be able to give information because they think I'm a person of authority, right? I could question some folks. 
it's Shaco, but um, when, Dahani, when Dahani and I were down there, there were guards down there, and I don't think we can risk them recognizing him. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Well, for Shaka, A, is your, yeah. is your zombie in your clothes? Uh, he's still in the room. Um, is he in your clothes? Was the question. Right, right now? Uh, I don't think so. So you left Divinity a naked skimmies. zombie in your room. <laughs> Uh, fine. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's a, it's a natural way of being, you know? So, so just to confirm, you left a naked zombie in your room. If you'd like to put it that way, I did. I prefer to think of it as being, you know, one with the world. Yeah. One with so nature. So because you left a naked unattended zombie in your room. I'm sorry, I can't even say this without I mean, out. we got doubles for each of us, so, you know, the zombie has... Oh, no, 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 the zombie, without give, being given direction, has wandered out of the room. Oh, and my God. God. I love this. Yes. You left your fair. zombie unattended. Fair. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> now, that's now, that definitely a thing that okay. happened. <laughs> now now he is uh he is under my command but i probably did not specifically say stay in the room i was so excited about the plan i just left with the clothes on yep. and yeah he, he probably uh yeah okay fine so uh, you hear a commotion in the main room <laughs> Jesus Christ. um okay uh so i so I hear the commotion and the, and the guy say, all right, well, let me just go back in my room and change. Uh, Into what? You put the zombie in your clothes. No, or no, zombie. you're closer in, but you're putting yeah. on which clothes? Uh, I'm going to change. Well, since, since I found out, well, since like everybody reminded me that there's guards downstairs that might mm -hmm. recognize me, I'm going to change into my normal clothes uh, and then notice that Bernard is not there. And then make the connection, okay. and then make the connection between the commotion and uh, and uh, Bernard, and uh, and run back it into the room and say, "I think, I think Bernard is downstairs, and I don't think he's clothed." <laughs> you did can't take you, his. Can't you, can't you order him back up here? I but then I'd have to go of... down there. But then I'd have to go down there and order a naked, decaying man uh, back upstairs. Um, I don't know if that's a good look. Um, I feel like that might expose us, right? To to even more questions. Well, he's certainly exposed. <laughs> Boom. Uh, he is. I think I don't know. I. I I'm not saying we gotta just let him go, but we. I think, think we, we should just let, let him go. I think, think we, we gotta let him go. Else. I think we gotta let him go. Oh, poor Bernard. Hmm. But we got a pair of clothes. We got a pair of royal clothes just in case we need them for anything. I can't fit them, but but may maybe someone else can. Right. Well, if that's still our plan, perhaps Kent can use. Um, his outfit to replicate that. Yeah. So that's, 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 that's something idea. that perhaps we need to do later. Much more sensible. Um, and, I, and Salise actually waves her, I mean, she's she's willing, but she kind of waves a knife. Can Kent duplicate, press the digitator, change all of our outfits to look like a royal guard? I actually, oddly, with for, for other reasons, just this second looked up press the digitation, and that is probably going to be more than the level of that cantrip. Um, that's probably much more like an illusion, minor or major. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which, admittedly, we do have people who can do if we decide that this is our plan. It's just again, you know, we we've all got we've all got those cute little like hourglasses from Gregory. We'd have to just kind of keep those on hand and, and change it when <laughs> it flips over, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. But no, I, 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 are we, and, and for a little, for like, are we seriously just leaving that body down there? 
if yeah. any of us goes down there and tries to do anything other than get rid of the zombie, we will be discovered. Yeah, and he, he can't talk. That. Like, he can't right. talk, so he can't uh, say we're up here. Uh, funny you should say that, Dahani. <laughs> all, of, all of you hear the doors slam open. Oh. And a very loud and boisterous voice calling for the rivals to come down. Who did that? I don't know. You might have to go downstairs and see. Uh, I guess um, we have you know no... what? I got, I got some key points left. I'm going to run down there real quick. Actually, can we yeah. count this as a, can we count this as a short rest? <laughs> no, because you didn't rest. Dang it. All right, I'll it, still do it. I got keep. Yeah, I, I, I'll I'll go down with you because yeah, I think we should all. I mean, if especially, oh no no, I'm gonna go down no, invisibly. She, yeah, she's she's going down. Then, oh, invisible. Oh, got you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. And then okay. see who is yelling for us, and then got come back you. upstairs. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I'll use my ridiculous speed to go down there, look and see who that is, and then come back up and be like. Oh my gosh, you guys, you won't believe who it, oh you everybody, you won't believe who it is. Uh see, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right. Fast, so it's a very fast burb. Yeah. Yeah. So Dahani, when you are being a very fast burb and, and going downstairs, you see a very tall, if you didn't know better, human gentleman in the most ostentatious, pristine armor you can ever imagine seeing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's shiny it's silver there's ridiculous feather coming out of the helmet that is under his arm and he's looking around lip curled in disgust at the naked zombie and the chaos that has ensued upon his arrival and he is he is yelling for the rivals to come and surrender themselves cool this is uh, the equivalent of that community gift where Donald Glover comes in with the pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I am Donald Glover. I'm Dahani Glover. Um, <laughs> like that. I, uh, I go upstairs and I say, there is an extremely large man in extremely shiny armor who is extremely disappointed and uh, extremely wants us to come downstairs. Extremely. Did and you hear like, him yell, oh, go ahead. Did it seem like the prince? Like some, like, did he seem like he was he, surrounded by other people or? Uh, no, he yeah. just looked real big and real shiny and real okay. man. Okay. No, this, uh, this gent is clearly an elite member of the Royal Guard. Mm -hmm. He is yelling. Or you all now by name, including Solis. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, are we going? I, yeah, I think, I mean, I think this might be our way, like, we were talking about possibly getting captured, we were talking about other stuff, so I think we should just, we should just go. And we don't acknowledge Bernard. We don't talk about Bernard. We, we don't talk about Bernard. Uh, no, no, no. Um, now, I could change back. Please change. Oh my God, change. No, no, no. So, so I, I, I already changed back into my normal clothes, but I'm okay. saying I could Chaka, change back. Chaka, no. Like guard clothes. You, no. Chaka, if okay. you put that outfit back on, it's going to make it worse for us. I mean, there's a probability, a possibility that could happen, but you know what? I'm for the team, so I'll stay in my normal clothes. You don't, let, 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 don't acknowledge it. <laughs> Let's uh, go downstairs. That's actually, yeah. And don't even, I don't even think we should act surprised because our surprise is not going to be genuine. And uh, that is just going to give us away. Got it. So you all come down to this man yelling for you? know us by name. There's probably no element of surprise left. So, yeah. 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 Um, and and Virgil looks to Solis and says, "Do you know before before they basically decide, 
Do you know where Faye is? Are you able to communicate with her to let her know what's going on? I can leave a token for her in the room. She'll know what it means. Um, and Virgil reaches out with message just to see if it's possible to reach either Kent or Gosric. Um, if, if essentially, if they are within that range, he would be able to send them a message. But that's that's basically, I never know how far apart anything is. <laughs> <laughs> you do not get a sense that you can reach either of them. Hmm. Um. Then, yeah. Um. I think at that point, uh, Virgil would um. At the pages that we've been looking at, this log, Virgil would press to digitate in in a language they can understand. Um, just the words got captured on on one of the pages sitting out. It just mm -hmm. says, "Oops." <laughs> yeah. You're leaving the file. We'll talk the rest of the file away. We'll leave the. I don't think oh, we should leave the file. I've got yeah, paper. I think we yeah. yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll tuck the rest of it away and leave, like, have we been able to rip this paper at all? I got paper. Oh, never mind. Yeah, in that case, then, yeah, we'll just leave them a note. Because Gosrick has impressed upon Virgil the importance of leaving a note. Yeah. I draw just... a very extremely comical, extremely comical looking squawking bird. It says, help. <laughs> all right. <laughs> And and after that, do you all go downstairs? Yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> any windows in this room? I see I, Virgil looking around this room, and I grab him by the sleeve. Yeah, let's 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 just go downstairs. Like, we could try to escape. I I I agree, but I think, yeah, I I think this might be the, the way to go. Fair enough. I mean, if they wanted to hurt us, so they would have done it already. They've tried. Maybe. They've, they've tried also, several times. Uh, and Slice also points out, do you want the innocent people in this bar to get hurt because they're looking for us? Exactly. Um, so, last, last time I'm going to ask, are you going or are you going to escape? I'm going. I would like to go as well. Seems like the majority vote was go, so go it is. All right, Salise is bringing up the rear. Virgil, you're in front. And Virgil, you notice this man just gives you a weird little smirk. Uh, Flattered, but spoken for. Sorry, I just... Oh, <laughs> I know you're spoken for. He's spoken so highly of you. Wait, what? <laughs> what? And he holds up a piece of Kent's cape. Oh no. And he you if you look, you can see Gosric's hat dangling off his belt. Oh. And that's where we're gonna stop for our live oh, show. Oh no. I think I'm more I'm more angry that he ripped Kent's cape than he actually has. No, Kent. that's that's what you like. Virgil's reaction after that would have been completely passive, with only a note of surprise that you were able to rip Kent's cloak and managed to survive. But Gosrick's hat, yeah, Gosrick's been taken like a million times. That's <laughs> wow. Yeah, several hats. Wow. He just gave. Yeah, right. He like, sure, hats. Right. Like I'm not even sure the cloak with Kent is part of an actual cloak or part of his magical outfit. So I'm just kind of like. There's a slight moment of being impressed, but otherwise, if we gonna stare down, then we'll stare down, buddy. Yeah. Y'all can find out next week at PAX Unplugged at our usual time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And, uh, playing an playing in yep. person. Yes, keep an eye on our socials because we will let you know, uh, we will let you know and remind you to uh, pop over to the PAX channel on Twitch to come and hang out and chat. Mm -hmm. Unless you're there, in which case, we'd love to see you there. Yeah, if you're there, come check us out. All right. Um, while we do outros, if you have questions, remember it is Dang it, question for <laughs> Are you all fighting? Always. Every every week. It's it's every week. It's like who can get that in there the fastest? <laughs> and we actually remember it. So it was it was a struggle just for us to remember the exact command. And yeah. now both of us are like, bam. 
it's true. While while they while they struggle bust over the command, think of questions, and we will do outros in the reverse order. And I'm gonna start with Sharif. Hey everybody, uh, I'm Sharif. You can find my stuff at sharifjackson.com. S H A R E E F Jackson.com and Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Uh, I am trying out uh, both Mastodon and Hive. Uh, so I'm Sharif Jackson on those as well, though on Mastodon, it's this weird thing where I'm on, everyone's on their own server and they, I don't know, I, I kind of don't understand, uh, part of it, but I'm on there. Uh, I don't remember what server I'm on, but I'm on there. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm bouncing in, 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 in between those and, uh, and, uh, tweeter, mm. um, as uh as tanya said thanks everybody for the indiegogo support really appreciate it and we're looking forward to uh you know providing y'all with that more rivals love and ending the season the way that we uh would like to with some high level play so um thank y'all uh eugenio should be back i believe on his own channel tuesday and then of course we'll all be at pax unplugged he and i are in an all barred one shot on friday I'm, yeah, Albard one shot and then Motherlands Live also on Friday and then Rivals. Uh, please give him a follow everywhere as DM Jazzy Hands. Brian, off to you. Hey, uh, I am Brian, aka Urban Bohemian, pretty much everywhere. Like it says down there. Um, I, I still say Twitter for now is the best place to find out what's going on, but I'm sure we'll all spill out into our other various places. Uh, this week I do plan to stream on Tuesday if I'm able to because I want to wrap things up before I leave town. Um, and yes, uh, you will see me at PAX Unplugged. I'm on a few different panels with a few different folks, and I have tweeted about it and written about it on my blog, urbanbohemian.com. And I'm really excited for us to all get together and play in person again. It's going to be a blast. And I am just looking forward to audience reactions as I do, because that is like the best part. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, you know, catch me online, catch me at PAX. And uh, I was gonna. I was about to say, and catch me here, back here on Sunday with these awesome folks. But I'm like, no, catch me in Philadelphia on Sunday with these awesome folks. Yeah. yeah. Um. And um. What do we say about Masood? Mas uh, what, what can one say about? What Masood? does one say does? about Masood? Um. Uh. I, that. I mean, go ahead, Street. Oh, I was just saying he he does uh. Great things in the improv community in Chicago. I know. He do. Uh, you you can follow him at my rude boy. Uh, M a h r u d e b o i. Yeah. Um. I don't think he has any shows uh, going on that he mentioned so. before. Um. But yeah, you can uh, find him uh, uh, doing improv stuff and uh, and uh, doing this show as well. Um. I think he's. I think there was another show that he was either doing, but I can't remember it. Um, so that's my great. Keep Masood an eye on his there. social media and we will yeah. basically all nudge Masood to keep put updates out there so you can keep an eye on him. Exactly. Yes. Let's I guess it's my, it's my turn. You can find me all over the place at Latia Jaquise. I am also trying out Hive, uh, which I like. So if you're on Hive, I'm the same. I'm Latia Jaquise there. Um, I'll be at PAX with these wonderful people. I have a, I have two panels in addition to uh, the Rivals Live on Sunday. Um, as soon as I remember what dates and times those are, I will make them available to you for knowing inside your brain meets. And I have an announcement tomorrow that I am so excited to tell everyone. So uh, keep an eye out on my socials tomorrow for uh, that wonderful bit of news. And that's basically it. 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 Oh, that's me. Um, hi, I'm going to be at PAX, of course. I'm For once, I'm not doing 8 billion panels. I might actually get a chance to go see other people's panels for once. Um, but Wednesday, Motherlands. We are having an episode on Wednesday. We took last week off because Turkey Day in the U.S. And then uh, I've got three things on Friday. If you're interested in Gloomhaven, we're on main stage at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then back-to-back -back themes. I'm on a panel about freelancing on Saturday. And then Rivals on Sunday. So I get to be the nervous one being on main stage. So yay. Um, and I think that's it. Everywhere, Soul Cypher Pier, website, Hive, Mastodon, all of it. Cypher Pier.
So yeah, we actually got a couple. Qu- what? Stop. I, we are not I Power can't. Ranger. No. Every time somebody says Mastodon, I have to follow it up with the rest of the Power Rangers. I just have to. It's like it's <laughs> it's it's there and it won't leave. I'm sorry, Lord. Uh, we actually got some questions. Uh, someone else read it because it's for Bernard. Oh. Or actually, no, Shaka has to answer that because it's for Bernard. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so my reason for, question. I'll answer. For Bernard, do you have any awareness or embarrassment about your current disposition? Uh, what that translates to, um, j- just in case you don't... Uh, have uh the um I forgot what the spell is that you understand languages the, the uh, grunt language in uh D&D um he's essentially uh s- saying that um you know it really sucks to live under someone's command mm. um because uh you have these uh zombie impulses and and that means that you're attracted to loud noises and you're attracted to uh things like that so when he was left on his own, he was attracted by the loud noise downstairs and, uh, you know, had to investigate. Mm. I had not thought about zombie rules in D&D, so thanks for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Virgil, how upset will Kemp be if they actually ripped his cloak? Virgil does not believe that they've actually ripped the cloak based on the fact that they were able to serve meals that nobody understood perfectly and impeccably. Virgil's not, not unconvinced that that is some weird magical replication of a piece of it just to, just to know. Um, but if they did, uh, wherever, you know, if they did basically either there's going to be a whole lot of people either dead around Kent or, or Kent will have fought a lot of people and not look too good when we find them. And that will be worse for everyone involved. I haven't talked to you, Henny, yet. <laughs> uh, last question is for Celise. Uh, do you fear that Shaka is going to try and start a new fashion trend when you're all back in Waterdeep? <laughs> no, because... If he does try that, I might just forget he's my friend and murder him. <laughs> oh, no. That's you know or, what? But fashion is, you know, it's it changes, you know. Shaka, I'm gonna say fleeting. It's fleeting, and that one has already fled. Okay. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, when I grew up, everybody w- was wearing baggy stuff. Now everybody's wearing skinny jeans and stuff. It it, it, it changes, right? Shaka is gonna bring back J- Jinko jeans. So uh, maybe out. Bring- no. So like maybe having every every article fitting in a different way is going to be the new trend. And every Felice just one. like is yeah. rubbing her, like the bridge awesome. of her nose. We've talked about you in fashion. You wear the same hat, the legally distinct, not a Kangol hat, since I've known you. Sure. And robes. You wear robes everywhere, Shaka. You're trying to tell other people about fashion. I've seen your closet, Shaka. It's just the same thing, like sixteen <laughs> times. It's weird, right? It's weird. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very true. Um, yeah, I mean, I probably <laughs> won't, but I could, you know, maybe talk to somebody. Maybe this talk. A, so maybe talk to one the, of the youth. Hmm, remember the building joke building and how it turned into a monster? Do you want to yes. do that? To, do you want that to happen with these clothes? Mimic jeans. <laughs> you want? To, yeah. You want to unleash bad clothing on? water deep uh, there's probably a couple of fractals still at troll skull manor mm-hmm. i think if i talk to them about it maybe they could, because they it's, could in his, it's in his well, head now it's in his head now see like see they can fit it because they can change your shape you know into whatever just it is, like so. i don't know mimic so jeans it seems like a second skin <laughs> so yeah you know, so op- like knife just kind of dig into the table as you're all <laughs> talking there's options here <sighs> I Thank hopefully you all. think that is the last of the questions. Um, I don't know what else to say except goodbye. We're gonna go raid the Aubrey because <laughs> she finished God of War Ragnarok and she's doing post game. Uh, we'll be you in Philly. 
Yeah, yes. we'll see you in Philly. Yeah. Later, y'all. <laughs>